Bonjour Timothy was the first film I'd ever done, so I was very excited to be in a film, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, I I loved it. I, I wasn't intimidated. I mean, I, I didn't really I didn't really think about it in terms of, you know, I got the lead role, so therefore I have to do this, I have to do that. And I I just I just had a really really fun time, and I had you know I had been working, I had done TV and stuff before then, so it wasn't a completely new experience to be on set with cameras and things like that. Um, and the people that I was working with at the time, I just, you know, we all really bonded and we had a really lovely time. And so for me, I, I didn't feel any sort of the, of the more, you know, negative aspects that can be part of making a film, I guess. But I, I didn't experience on that job. Um, yeah, I think I was 17, 17 at the time, so I was still pretty young. I think Shortland Street, as a production, has, has, um, has really has been great for New Zealand. Um, I, I think in terms of character development for me at that time, it was more kind of, I was. I think I was more at the mercy of what the writers decided my character should and shouldn't do. You know, I, I mean, I'd try to maybe play scenes in a different way to say, hey, look, maybe you could start writing towards this direction. But um, you know, I mean, it's a it's a fast turnaround TV show. Um, for me, it was it was good experience though in terms of getting used to being in front of the camera and learning lines every day. With so many lines to learn every day, you know, day schedule we shoot. I don't know how many scenes it would be, but we'd shoot about half an hour a day, which is a lot considering, you know, normally it's what, two minutes a day, a minute, a couple of minutes a day, five minutes a day if you're lucky. Um, so it was good for doing a performance and seeing myself back on TV quite quickly, you know. Every day I could watch myself and think, you know, what worked and what didn't really work. And, uh, you know, getting used to being relaxed. Because I think young, as being a young actor, you, you sort of, have this enthusiasm and keenness, but actually a lot of times that keenness can come across as quite a pushed sort of energy. Um, so Sean Street was sort of helped me maybe relax into it, into being on in front of the camera a bit more. I guess it started a new experience for a lot of people because all of a sudden these American productions were coming here a lot more, um, you know, so there was not only the local drama, but there was overseas drama. Uh, and yeah, you met a lot more different people, a lot more crew were being employed, you know, and then that sort of led and a lot more stuntmen and things like that, and then that led on to Lord of the Rings. And, you know, now we're used to it. I think New Zealand's very used to having lots of overseas productions here, but at the time it was really, it was a new thing. So that was, you know, it was exciting to feel like you're part of something that um, had reach outside New Zealand. Um, yeah, and, you know, that was my first experience doing stunts and sort of, um, playing with swords and green screen and all those kind of crazy things, yeah. That was challenging because, yeah, we had to stay fit throughout the job, although I sort of stopped going to the gym after about four months because I was too tired. But yeah, it was a long shoot. It was 50 episodes over, over about a year. Um, yeah, and we were required to sort of, you know, do stunts, be a lot more physical. I think something that people don't realise about that stuff is that acting, I think, generally is, a, is not physically demanding a lot of the time like it's quite demanding I think mentally and there's a lot of pressures on performance and all that sort of stuff but in terms of physical work you know you spend a lot of time waiting to go on um, but things like Young Hercules and, and jobs like that there is actually quite a physical amount of a lot of physical work you know which um which I like which I think's I mean I hate it in my normal day I don't don't spend a lot of time at the gym normally but you know it is it is um it is satisfying to do that work um, and yeah, as an actor, you know, you get to work on your American accent for a year. The character was a bisexual character, so the fact that the character was gay is not really the challenge. The challenge is, can you deliver the lines? You know, um, people, I have done interviews, you know, in the past when, I, when that film was coming out and we had to do publicity around it and stuff, and people did like to ask that question, but, you know, I mean, you know, it's, you yeah. know, Playing a gay man. There are lots of gay men in the world. I have lots of gay friends. You know, it's it's um, and we don't sit down and always talk about what well, it's like to be gay. You know, we talk about what are you doing at the moment. You know, what job are you working on? And I, I feel the same about this film. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, he's a he's a character who's gay, but it was more about yeah, it's about other themes. I think there were some elements which I I, I think ultimately were a little bit frustrating because it's predominantly a show for young younger women you know so the so the male characters are sort of a lot of times the kind of men that the women would like to see on screen as opposed to necessarily what a guy would do in that circumstance um, uh, 
but you know, like a lot of times, I, I really judge the job on the people, um, where it was shot, you know, all those kind of things. And I'd never been to Adelaide before. You know, I didn't live there. I flew back and forth, which I think was pretty ideal. Um, the people were great. It was it was a regular job because I'd been in Australia for a couple of years, and the first year or so it was just uh, awful. I mean, awful. I didn't get anything. Well, little bits and pieces, but I mean, I was struggling to pay the rent. You know, so just even on a practical level, it came it came up at the right time. But um, yeah, and then randomly I get a, a letter from someone in Germany who watches the show. German, the German people like that show. James Griffin wrote that, and he, because he did the Johnsons as well, and we've become quite friendly over the last few years. And uh, he, yeah, he always said that was one of his favourite uh, favourite shows to work on. I, I was I was only in a handful of episodes. So I was only, only shooting for a couple of weeks, I think. But um, I was living in Australia at the time, so that was the first job I'd done back in New Zealand for a while, and it was really nice to be home, even if it was only for a few weeks. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a shame. Not many people really saw that, I don't think. But I do think the script was really, really funny and quite a good um, satire on Shortland Street, you know, and the pop culture around that. And, uh, you know, my character was a, was a dick, just a bit of a dick. And it's really good playing those characters because I, I think it's better to start off, I think it's best in a way for the audience to start off not liking you because you don't have anywhere to travel, you know, and the best that can, you know, the worst that can happen is that they end up still not liking you. Um, you know, sympathetic characters uh, sometimes have to play the moral, the moral compass and I don't really, that's, that's not as much fun. Playing Bert Sutcliffe was great because he existed you know, there's a lot of stories about him, um, and so I could, you know, I could really had something really solid to start with. Um, and I got to play, I got to learn to play cricket with my left hand. You know, I'm, I'm right-handed, and I played left-handed. You know, I mean, I would definitely wouldn't be, wouldn't use myself in the New Zealand cricket team, but, you know, I could hit a ball in the end. Um, and, you know, they had 12, 12, was it cricket team is 11, isn't it? 12, 13, I think it's 13 of us all together. I can't remember the exact number, but, um, yeah, we're... Kiwi lads, and we all got to play cricket. I mean, some days we would just play cricket. cricket. Like Charlie, the director, would set up a, um, a bowling machine, and he would just fire the balls at us, and we would just hit them, and he would uh, he would film it. I think when we first did the workshop for the Almighty Johnsons, the the idea was quite uh, was very catchy. Like it was very f it was a very interesting idea to play around with these kind of idiot guys. They happen to be sort of reincarnations of Norse gods, and and it was just it felt like a very James Griffin-y type script, you know, a very deadpan, like deadpan humour kind of silly situations, but all all under the umbrella of sort of you know kiwiness. And um, I, you know, and my and again, my character was just this kind of really rude prick in a way, and and I you know I loved it. It felt, it felt very freeing to do that. I mean, I'm probably more, much more conservative than, than that character is in real life, and so it was nice to do that. I don't know whether it was skill or luck on behalf of the people that cast it, but the five of us all sort of weirdly fell into the right dynamic. You know, Emmett, who plays Axel, is the youngest of, I think he's the youngest of three or four brothers. Uh, Tim is the oldest of us, and he has, he has been an actor for a long time, he played the oldest brother, you know, Ben is weird, he's a weird guy, I love Ben, but he's completely wacky, and he's so perfect for Olaf, and, you know, and Jared is a, you know, he is, <laughs> he's a good friend of mine, so I can't say anything too bad, but, you know, he's, he's kind of like Ty, in a way, and we all, we all sort of fell into these dynamics, and, and yeah, we just, we had a really, it was lucky because we all got along, you know, and I think, but, and I think, you know, in terms of the story, that's what brothers do, they, they fight and stuff, but there's an undercurrent of um, uh, genuine care and love there for each other, and, uh, you know, I think that that's kind of what we ended up developing, and that's what James kept writing, so it, it did work really well.